Hello again, welcome back to Azales TV. This is part 23 of my wooden clock build. Today I'm going to be fixing a problem I have with the clutch mechanism. Hopefully we can sort it out once and for all. Let's begin. So here is the problem I'm having. So basically so that I could set the time and everything else stay still, I'll put a clutch in the minute hand it connects this pinion right down in there to this great wheel here but even though I've tightened the clutch up and I've put preload shims in there and I've taken the spring out and I've stretched it and everything else it still slips slightly so when this cranks round oh boy it doesn't always track if there's if it jams up even slightly in here it makes it just slip back ever so slightly now I'll put where is it in here tiny little bit of orange tape a bit of caps on tape and that marks where the minute hand was and I left it running for a couple of days and after a couple of days it slipped back about a minute or so not much but the fact that this is still keeping track of time and this isn't means that the clock itself works it's keeping good time but the mechanism itself is slipping which isn't acceptable so I need to fix that so first thing to do is going to be taking this apart Pulling the clutch apart again and see if, seeing if I can improve it further. Fun times. Okay, I've taken the drive mechanism apart here so this will run freely. Now I can move this by hand and see where it binds up. Mm. I'll line the hand up with the caps on tape here. I've got a shadow cast by this light up here out of view of the camera. So I'll move this across so it's right over the top of that. I can now see where it slips, if it slips at all. So we're just to slip a little bit because now this hand is over here and the shadow lines up. So let's keep going. Mm. Okay, there is a slight area here where it rubs. See how it kicks out. And it looks like this tooth down in here, I think. So I'll mark that and check that as well as the surrounding teeth and this pin in here. But I'll carry on going round and see where else it slips. Well, I'm not finding it really sticking anywhere else. And it's, I don't, it doesn't seem to be overcoming the, um, the clutch. I mean, if I move it very quickly, it does overcome, but uh, that's not the case when it's driving. I don't know. Now, another thing I can try is loosening this here because this clamps down onto an aluminium tube, and I think it might be too soft to, to be really suitable, and it might be crushing the tube against the inner arbor here for the minute hand. So, if I loosen the other hand, I mean, this is slipping that much. loosen this and see that's about the same not really sure it's not definitive I'll carry on taking that part anyway because I've got one other thing I can try Right, so this is the main section, we've got the brakes wheel and we have the minute wheel pinion and this is quite stiff on there, it doesn't, I mean it, it slips a little bit and that's a bit of a worry but I can't really 
there's not much else I can do. But I'll, uh, I'll pull this apart, I'll take this off here. I mean, one thing is, this slips quite easily on here, because this is just a push fit. So I think one thing I can try, and then I'll leave it running overnight, I'll check the gears and everything else, but I'll try this and then I'll leave it running. I will put a pin in here, and then I'll cut a slot into this, so that I can push this in and it engages with the slot, so that while the clutch is able to slip when I, move, when I adjust the minute hand to, to adjust the time, this won't slip on the clutch, because at the moment we've got potential for two things to slip. So if it's this that's slipping on this, and not this that's slipping on this, that could be the problem. So let's try and make a thing where I put a, a little bar or something into here like this. And that'll engage with a slot I'll cut into here. Just running this mechanism by hand, it seems fine. There's no, it's not binding up, it's, it's pretty, pretty loose. And I'm back driving it from the hour hand wheel here, from the hour wheel through the idler gear to the minute gear. So this is like the, the most difficult way of driving it here. Like this takes up the most torque. I mean, in reality, it's gonna be driven from this side. So if it drives easily like this, it will definitely drive easily like this. And that one seems fine. I mean, nothing's binding up on the arbor here. Everything seems concentric, concentric, whatever the term is. So I'll try the pin in there. I'll put a slot in here. I may even sand out, ream, resize this hole so it's a bit loose and it's a bit more compliance on this because once I've got the pin that goes into this slot, that will help it all lock together and run smoothly. And this runs smoothly as well. I mean, this goes like that, so that's good. There's a tiny bit of wobble, but that doesn't matter. That's all kept in line by this anyway. And this drives just completely fine. As I said, I marked the minute hand where it matched up there. And that's not lost any time at all across several days. That's been completely solid. So I know the timing circuit works brilliantly because that all works brilliantly. It's just from here onwards. It's a minute hand slipping. It seems to bind slightly here as well. If I turn this, the hour wheel and the idler wheel, the idler gear, it, it binds up ever so slightly in there. Just every now and then, so it looks right there. So that can fix as well, and that, that might solve some of the problems. So a few bits to adjust. Let's get right down to it. Oh, you're looking feet now. Just right in there. That might be one of the problems, but we can fix that. That's all good. Oh, this is the fun stuff right here. Yes, we have penetration. That's always good. Okay, I'll put this over this, and I'll mark out where the hole needs to go with the slot in this part. I can't push this too hard into this because the whole thing moves back and forth, and it's right on the very edge of the plastic. I don't want to skip over it. I'm hoping this is enough of a mark that's left. Yes, yes it is. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. This is where everything goes spring and my thinking everywhere. This is precisely what we don't want. Oh, Jesus. Good. Oh, yeah. Hooray. Okay. Now I can. That's the bit I want. Good, 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 good. So that's part of this, the preload I've put in for the spring. The spring I've stretched out. Need a better spring really, one that's got thicker wires. It's probably a better term for that. But I'm not a spring scientist, so, you know, I'll do what I can. Right, I've marked off, where are we? The hole's gone right through. 
So then I'm gonna cut a slot out so the pin can just go whoop, into there. Speaking of spring of my things, let's give this a go, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy like a fox. Alright, let's cut this to length. Oh boy. Ciao! Safety my glasses at the ready. Well, if that doesn't do it, nothing will. I've got a new spring in there, it's a lot stiffer. Yeah, that is on there tight. That is stiff as a wedding prick. That'll do it. That's chooched. That's all glued up properly. That goes on there. That is really tight. Okay. If that don't work, I'm bum out of ideas. Let's put this back in a clock. Okay, after much sanding and adjustamentos, por favor. This now runs nice and smooth. It's not binding up at all, even if I push it really fast. So, let's put this on the clock with the new spring methane. Bolt it all down, put the hands on it, leave it running overnight, and see how she goes. Fingers crossed. That's all running nice and smooth. Fantastic. I've left the crank assembly drive thing off for now so I can turn all this and all this moves. But if I hold the great wheel, I can turn this and it's much, much stiffer than it was before. So that clutch is nice and tight. Nice and tight. So, oh, that's about done for today. Let's get it running and um, wait for tomorrow, I guess. Yeah. Okay, before finishing off, I did wonder if the reason for the minute hand slipping was because on a lot of clocks and watches and stuff, you have to set the time and then you set the hands back like this to take up any sort of slack in the gears because the gears drive in this direction. So if you're forcing them back that way, you're taking up all the backlash. But I get the same result, I get the same amount of movement even, regardless. So if I move them back like that, and then advance by one minute, it moves by one minute. But if I go back the other way, and advance by one minute, it's still advanced by one minute. So that's not the problem. So the problem was likely the clutch part slipping in one or two places. I've certainly remedied the clutch slipping on, on the gear itself by putting the peg and the slots in so it will, it will engage properly and there's positive movement there. Hopefully I'll fix the clutch slipping by putting a much stronger spring in there and doing some other bits. I've also adjusted all the teeth and there's no more, well there's a tiny amount of binding but not enough to overcome the clutch so that should be okay now. So. Let's get it powered on, let's set the time and let's get it running and just leave it for 24 hours. So this has been left running overnight and it's kept perfect time. It's not skipped a single minute. It's tracking perfectly to the time on my phone. Can we just about see that? There you go. Excellent. So that's it for this week. Next week, hopefully I can start working on the front case section. So tune in then to see me complete that and actually put a, a glass or a plexiglass or something cover on the front. If you're not already subscribed, then get subscribed and hit that notification button so you know when I upload, because I put out a new video every single Tuesday. Give the video a big thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or anything like that. And until then, I will see you next week. Have a great one. Thanks for watching. Okay, before fishing... Before fishing, what the... F